We are back from Japan and the Philippines and I'm gonna do a haul of everything that I got. I'm gonna try to categorize everything, but there are some random miscellaneous things that we did end up getting. So I'm just gonna start off with home decor. And I got these two adorable vessels at a, I believe it was a ceramic slash pottery shop in the kitchenware town. I'll put the name right here. I have to fact check myself by going back to my vlogs to see, uh, since we did go to so many different places. I'm pretty sure it's from there, but I love it so much. It's like this perfect like wabi-sabi. They were actually from the clearance section. There was like a tiny little basket. These two were sitting next to each other. And I was like, that is adorable. I have these two now sitting on my media console. Yeah, so it was on sale for 2,200 yen each and the original price I think was like 11,000 yen each. Some of the shops in Japan have like a tax-free option there. Like if you don't live there, you're just a tourist, they won't charge you the tax since you don't live there, but you usually have to hit 5,000 yen. So I was a little under there. So I ended up getting a few more items. This I got at the same little shop and I think they're for dips. I'm not really sure, but that's what I'm gonna use them for. So I got just got four of these. Just a cute little set. Next home decor item, the place was called Coma. And I met the person who actually made this. Her name was Reen. She was telling me all about this and how she kind of got started. She hand carved this from oak wood. I want to buy it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last one. Wow, you're sold out after me. Oh, yeah. This kind of just spoke to me and my husband. We aren't using it for like a trinket tray or anything, but I feel like it could be. Yeah, it's just inside of our media console right now. And I love it. And I love that we got to meet the person who made it too. I forgot to include something in the home decor section part. So I was using it and that's why I forgot to include it in this haul. I got this while there. This is handmade actually by someone who lives in LA, but they are Japanese. I can't really see it because of the color of the clay, but it's Asamono. And I did look it up while there and she was completely sold out. So I was like, I'm in Japan, might as well just buy it there. I love how it's just, the handle is just randomly down here. I've been using this for my morning coffee every single day since I came back from Japan. Back to all of the other parts of the clip. We wanted to find a cute ornament there since it's around Christmas time, but I feel like it was a little bit difficult, but we did find this shrimp nigiri. It's definitely gonna remind us of Japan because we did eat a ton of nigiri and sushi in general. I feel like this looks like something I could also get at Target, but you know, it is actually from Japan. Since I'm on ornaments, we did get an ornament from the Philippines. This was handmade in the Philippines. It's from Threads That Unite Us, Philippine communities that craft handwoven holiday ornaments. So it is responsibly sourced handwoven textiles with a combination of upcycled fabrics to promote slow fashion and local weaving communities. Um, of course, I chose a very neutral one and it got a little bit dented in the luggage, but I don't think you can tell too much. Yeah, I can't wait to put these ornaments up. This baby tree is pretty much all that we put up besides like these stockings. We don't have an O for Olive. We only have um, one for Milo since Olive is new to us. But then um, I did not put up the tree. I just put up some baby ornaments. It looks kind of sad. So we didn't put up the actual um, Christmas tree that we had because my family came right after we came back from Japan. If we put up the tree, it would literally be like a couple weeks. So we didn't want to do that. And here are some of the new ornaments. So here over there. I got a cute little wallet. This basically looks like my last wallet. It's just made of much better materials since my last wallet was actually falling apart. We went to an area where there are just a bunch of local shops of handmade items. Yeah, so it was just a cute little wallet. Next thing, this is actually for my brother-in-law because he loves knives and stuff. So we got this at a special knife shop. I'm not gonna fully open it because I think it's wrapped and everything. You see that? It's like oil slicked and then it has that carving. My family is actually coming here. So my parents, my sister, my brother-in-law, my baby niece are all coming literally in the next hour. So we have to go pick them up from the airport. So that's why I'm trying to film this very quickly because I have to give them all of these gifts. So <laughs> running out of time to film. Next, I will do a couple items that we got for my baby niece. This is just part of her Christmas gift. This is a Hello Kitty hat. See? She's gonna look so cute in this and I'm so excited to 
put this on her. One of her first words, not like her first word, but one of them was duck. So I don't, I'm not even sure if this is a duck, but it really reminded me of her. It's either a duck or a chick, but I'm just gonna call it a duck. And we got this from the Hello Kitty store, Sanrio store in Japan. And it's just so cute because it reminded me of her and it's super soft, feels like a squishmallow. This is like a little towel. About to take a bath. Next, we'll move on to skincare. I went crazy with skincare. This isn't even everything because I already gave some stuff away. I cleared out some of the shelves of some of the places I went to. Japanese skincare is amazing, especially for SPF. I got a bunch of these Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence SPF 50 PA4 Pluses. I got a bunch of them. Like, this is not even everything. <laughs> Yeah, there's more. Then I got this Vertio UV Moisture Gel SPF 50 PA4 Pluses because I, you can use this on your face too, but I wanted to use this for body sunscreen. So I got a bunch of these too. I already gave some away. This is Can Make SPF 50, love my sunscreen, SPF 50 PA4 Pluses. So I got um, a few of those. I was only able to get a few of those because I couldn't find that one. Also got a few of these. This is vitamin C for my sister, my mom, mother-in-law. That's the skincare that I got. I pretty much just wanted SPF because I go through it so quickly. I got some dog toys. I wish I had shown the ones that I gave to Milo and Olive, but within one day, they already destroyed them. So um, they were really cute. One was like a little beef thing, uh, like a little Japanese beef stick. And then one was basically like this. And Milo and Olive destroyed that within a day. But this one is for my sister's dog. He's not going to destroy this because he's a little mini golden doodle who doesn't destroy toys. My dogs, this is why they can't have nice things. I keep buying them nice things, but they destroy it so fast. I got this from the temple and I got the same one for my mom in here lastly we'll do snacks some of the snacks have already been eaten because we have been home for a few days already uh food in japan was amazing and it basically ruined food for me in the states so i haven't tried all of these things but i'm just gonna start going through them we gave some of the food all away already these are seaweed chips purple sweet potato i think apparently this is the taste of juicy beef but it looks like Cheetos, so that is gonna be interesting. A lot of this was purchased at like 7-Eleven and Don Quixote. Buttered corn flavored chips. This is Ichiran Ramen. Have not tried it, but gave a couple away. I mean, we tried Ichi Ichiran Ramen there, but that is like their packaged version. Got a bunch of flavors of Kit Kats. I'm not gonna pronounce that right, but that is the flavor right there. This one is sake flavored, Kit Kats. This one is strawberry cheesecake flavor. Can't go wrong with strawberry cheesecake. Got a couple milky matcha poppies. And we got some almond green tea white chocolate. Chocolate strawberries, but matcha flavored. Cutlet and sauce flavored snacks from 7-Eleven. Their 7-Eleven is amazing there. It definitely lives up to the hype. And then this is gummy chocolate strawberries. The mango with white chocolate. I think we ate all of the chocolate flavored ones, the normal milk chocolate ones. We got a bunch of gummies. These are actually for my sister because she's obsessed with gummies. Um, the Haribo melon mix. I hope she likes these. This is Ramune gummies. So you know like the drink that you push like a marble down? It sounded interesting. This is a Hello Kitty one. I don't know what flavor this is supposed to be, but it was cute. Oh my gosh, and it's actually like Hello Kitty shaped. Sparkling strawberries. A couple things from the Philippines. This is, again for my sister, gummy candy, mango flavored. We did get, honey, is it called pastillas? The thing I'm obsessed with. Well, we had ube flavored ones and I ate the entire bag in like a day when we got home. So I can't show that, but I'm obsessed with that because it's basically like eating condensed milk. Special macapuno, which is this, it's like a chili coconut 
candy and it's really good that is everything that we got in japan and the philippines i did post a couple japan slash philippines vlogs mostly just japan since we were in japan for most of the trip so go back and watch those if you are interested but that's it thanks for watching bye <laughs>